Hi everybody, today we're going to do Battle of the Boxes and I have three boxes for us today. I have Sephora Play, Ipsy, and Birchbox. These are the May 2016 boxes and I'm going to open them up and I'm going to see what's inside and I'm going to pick out which one I think is the winner. Uh, today we're going to start out with Ipsy. It comes in this little bag which is different than I think their typical bags. Most of them have a zipper with the Ipsy logo but this time it's a little quiet. And it has different destinations on it, different landmarks and destinations. It's pretty cute, you know, typical whatever that scratchy material is. Okay, and when I open it up and I stick my hand inside, the first thing I pull out is this triangular thing, which I think is a perfume sample. Perfume samples are fine with me. I actually like perfume samples. And this one's actually packaged pretty cool. This is Remarkable People. It's Hats Libre. The orange. Can you guys see that? I'll link it down below because I know I said that incorrectly. A little, little mist. Ooh, that smells pretty good. That's like a really sweet orange scent. Okay, all right, that's not bad. I like that. Okay, the next thing out of Ipsy is, ooh, I got a Pacifica Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow Trio. That's cool. Natural Minerals. A cute little pan, little sun design on it. Oh, and it comes with three neutral shades. Okay, feels pretty soft to the touch. Not the greatest color payoff. But you can see, ignore this. This is a uh, my Anastasia dip brow, and it's just a beast to get off, so I didn't try to wash it off before the video, it just took too long. Okay, next up, there's a really annoying shadow, like right in the middle of my face, and it's really bugging me. Sorry about that. Next up, we have a cute little whale designed eyeshadow brush, which is cool, because I actually really need eyeshadow brushes. It's just got little whales on it. That's real cute, and it's by Glamour Dolls. It's number 10. Adorable. Okay. Next. Ooh, feels like a lip product. Oh, well, okay. It's a lip balm. It says it's an all-natural coral lip color. I like the all-natural part. That's really cool. I like this, the feel of it, too. It feels very, like, smooth. And this is... Hibiscus flavored. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if I can open it real fast and get a sniff. Yeah. <laughs> a little more complicated than I thought it would be. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Doesn't have too much of a scent. It's darker color than I thought it would be. Just rub it on the back of my hand. Ooh, it's a little shimmery. Okay. Yeah, I'll give that a try thing from Ipsy is, ooh, Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. So it's a little mascara. Super cute. I love mascara. Ooh, that is a intense brush. Can you guys see? Like, that's some big bristles for a little thing. Definitely gonna have to give that a try. All right. That's only my third Ipsy bag I've ever gotten. And it's, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I know a lot of people don't like perfume samples, but that is a hefty size perfume sample. That is 1.16 fluid ounces, which doesn't sound a lot, but it just seems larger than other perfume samples. Okie dokie. We are moving on to Birchbox. So inside it said, let's take this party outside, shall we? And I think this box is like based off like SPF and summertime and stuff. And then they have the um, prices. I love that Bridgebox does this. They have the prices. Okay. First thing inside. Ooh. This is called Beauty Protector. Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. And this, the full size of this is $23.50. It's supposed to detangle and protect from heat. Ooh, it smells pretty good too. And I like the um, packaging. That's pretty adorable. 
Next up in here we have, oh, it's from Cargo. Ooh, sorry to blind you. And this is a blush and bronzer duo. The full size of this is $35. Let's see if I can, yeah, sorry, that's not cute at all, but I don't know how else to open this. Ow, it's perforated. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, okay, pretty. So we have the blush on this side and the bronzer on this side. Let's get these a little swatch on a clean, maybe, spot. Whoa, that's pretty deep. Um, okay, so the bronzer is, ooh, is really pigmented, but the blush, not so much. I bet it's buildable, though. It's a pretty pink color. Next up, we have Toka Cream Duh. Mon, I'm just ruining everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna list all this below so you guys know what's happening here. Toka. Crema da Mano. Bianca? <laughs> anyway, the full size of this is $10. Oh. Mm. Safety seal. Safety seals are always nice. It confused me for a minute, but safety seals are nice. Okay, smells good, smells good. I really do like that scent. It's very re refreshing. That's good. All right, last two things in here are two little bottles, little squeezy tubes. And this one is a sunscreen, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it is. This is MD Solar Sciences Mineral Moisture Defense, SPF 50 for body. All this mineral stuff, that's kind of cool. Well, it's a really tiny little tube, so I don't know how many uses you actually get out of this. And the full size of this is $39. That is a lot of money for sunscreen, if you ask me. Last but not least, in Birchbox, we have a Kula product. And this is called Daydream Mineral Primer. Again, more minerals. I'm all about the minerals, that's good. It has a light almost herbal scent and it does have a slight like silicone-y soft feel but not too overwhelming. The only thing I have to say about this is I don't know if you guys can see but this is barely full. <laughs> like there's probably like when you hold it up to the light there's like a little bit down here and like some on the side so this whole like portion <laughs> has nothing in it so this is a very 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 tiny sample and I guess it's because the full size of this is $42. That's why I assume the sample's so little. But anyway, that was Birchbox. I have to say the actual box this time, I thought I wasn't going to like it when I saw it online. But getting it in person, I don't know why. I think, it, I think it's cute. I like it. And last but definitely not least, this one I'm super excited about because it's my very first one. We have Sephora Play. Now... It used to come in the box with like the lipsticks on it and stuff, and then they switched to like this um, stripey box. I don't want to show you because my information is on it. But I like this cute little bag. So like this cute little bag comes inside the stripey box. I think that's adorable. Um, it comes every time with this, the forces of nature, and you have your Sephora play card, which you can redeem for 50 points with an in-store purchase, and you can go in and get like tips and stuff like that. Okay, let's dive on in. The first thing in here, it sounds like fudge, like a fudge wrapper. Like when you go on vacation and you go to those fudge stands and they get you to pay like $10 for a pound of fudge. That's what it sounds like. This sounds. But it is indeed a perfume sample. Orange. I'm just murdering all these words. Orange sanguine. Sanguine. Uh, Clone <laughs> perfume. I don't know. We'll see. Let's pop it open. Okay, it comes with a cute little like postcard thing. Let's look all Parisian. I'm assuming that's cute. I like those guys. And then you get this teeny tiny little vial. Look at that. That's adorable. See what I mean? Like when I said that this from Ipsy is like larger than a typical perfume sample. All right, let's give her a whiff. There we go. 
Whoa. Okay. Oh, I have another perky one. Oh, that's fine. That smells like straight oranges. Like nectarines or like cuties. <laughs> like mandarin oranges. That smells that smells pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. If you like to smell like fruit, there you go. That's a fruit you can smell like. That smells awesome. Alright, let's dig in here. This feels interesting. Is it another perfume sample? No. It is. It's no. Yes, no, it is not. Okay. New mask in my oh, maskimizer instead of my okay. Maskimizer. Skin optimizing mask primer. Ooh. Take masking to the max. We've also included two of the best sellers for use with max mask miser sample. Hmm. Apply to see your best skin in 10 minutes. Fun. So that's kind of like almost three things. That's adorable. Okay, next up, there's still several things in here. Ooh, ooh, what is this? What is this? Okay. Corez. Corez? Corez? Or East Cor Crez. I don't know. Sounds right to me. Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. Ooh. Well, I guess you put this on before you go to bed, and then it brightens as you sleep in it. Brightens up your skin tone. That's awesome. Okay. What does that smell? I think I'm just smelling oranges. Everything smells like oranges to me today. Alright. <laughs> I got it on my lip. Oh, I'm a little afraid of putting things on my face to sleep at night because I do break out. Like, I have a couple, like, a couple going on right now. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, next up, we have this guy. Briogeo. Briogeo. <laughs> Don't despair, repair, deep conditioning mask. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I have very thin... Fine hair that is damaged from dyeing and things like this, so stuff like this is always good for me. Alright, what's next up? Ooh, skinny, tiny. Ooh, look how cute! Alright, this is the Tartis, Tartis, Tartis from Tarte. I haven't been able to say that. And an adorable tiny little, I guess it's a lip liner. Tiny little lip liner, which I'm sure has absolutely nothing in it. Oh, it's a little stiff. There it is. It's kind of like a dusty rose color. Pretty. I like it. And last but not least is this. Look at it. This tiny little Bite Beauty lipstick. A Moose Boosh lipstick. Apparently I have reformulated it. Look how cute. It's so little. And it says oh, upside down. <laughs> It says bite. Oh, so cute. Whoa. That is an intense color. Holy cow. <laughs> that is some pink, 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 pink. I typically don't wear pink lipstick, but I think I'm going to give it a try because this is adorable and I want to try the new formula. I just love tiny things. <laughs> anyway, back to the boxes. This one's tough because they all came with a big range of things. I love that Ipsy included a brush because I need them. I need them, I need them, I need them. I really like this from Birchbox. And then from Sephora, I really like these things. So, oh, but I also like this from Ipsy too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give it to Sephora Play on this one. Mainly because it came with two lip products. I absolutely love lip products. They're my favorite and I really need this. You can probably see this like frizz happening over here. It's because my hair is highly damaged. So I think for this one, this battle, it goes to Sephora. Um, all the other boxes are great though and I'm excited to get them each month. So next month I'll see you back here for another battle. Uh, we'll see if someone else takes it the next time. Until then, I hope you guys are all doing great. Have a good day.